What's up foodies? Make sure you don't make this mistake when cooking with carbon steel cookware and follow these simple steps. So let's get into it. The first thing is, make sure you season your pan. It's very important that you season your pan out of the box. It won't be non-stick. And putting that first initial coating will help prevent food from sticking. If you try to cook with it, it's gonna stick, you're not gonna have a fun time, and you're gonna toss it right in the garbage. And you don't wanna do that. So make sure you season your pan as soon as it comes out of the box. Now don't rush it. You might see on the internet you have to do 16, 20, 30 times of a pre-season before you use your pan. Don't. Give it one solid seasoning, and then start cooking with it. The more you cook with it, the more you're gonna develop that seasoning and the better non-stick it's gonna give you. Remember, patience is a virtue and you wanna make sure you do this correctly. So relax, use your pan, and everything is gonna be all right. Now, with that said, there's a few simple rules and things you need to follow when seasoning your pan. I have a video on how to do that. It's in the description below. Give it a check out after you're done watching this video because you know it helps the channel out if you watch the whole video. One of the key things people will also read is to use flaxseed oil to season your pan. I don't recommend that because it has a low smoke point. I recommend using a high smoke point oil like canola oil. Now for the next thing. Everyone assumes that carbon steel or cast iron pan is super non-stick. It's just not the facts. Are you, if you're coming from Teflon to a carbon steel pan, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you give it a good seasoning and set your expectations. It's not gonna be super nonstick. You need to use a bit of oil in the pan. You can't just throw an egg into a dry pan and expect it not to stick. When you throw a bit of oil in there, just a little bit, that egg is gonna slide around like it's on a skating rink in the middle of winter. Even the best Teflon pans after the first or second use, you gotta add a bit of oil to that pan or that egg is sticking and you don't want that. So just use a small amount of oil to make sure it gives a nice coating and it doesn't stick. Now don't stress about what kind of oil you're using in your pan when you're cooking. It doesn't matter. Just use your pan. This is where I think people overthink carbon steel and cast iron. It's, you gotta use certain oils, you can't do certain things, you can't do this, you can't do that. Just cook with your pan. Enjoy it. You bought it to cook with because you enjoy cooking, I hope, or why are you cooking? Just make sure you cook with the pan. Don't worry about the types of oils you use. Like I said, the first initial one, use you know a nice high smoke point canola oil or any kind of oil that's high smoke point. But after that, cook with it. Cook bacon in it, cook any kind of oils in it. If you want to use olive oils, go for it. Cook with the pan. That's, that's pretty simple, right? Just cook with it and have fun. Don't stress about it. Now, if you want to make sure your food doesn't stick, it's very important that you preheat your pan and not just throw things in cold. So if you just turn your gas on, throw your oil in, and throw your egg in, it's probably gonna stick. You need to make sure you bring up the temperature of the pan on a medium heat, medium high, to give it a nice, to get it nice and hot. In the culinary world, we always preheat our pans, get them up to the temperature we need, we add in our oil, and once the oil is shimmering and when you move it around, there's this nice glistening look to it, then it's ready to add your food. That will also help create a layer of steam between the pan and the food and prevent it from sticking. So make sure you preheat your pan. Now, don't be afraid to use metal utensils in your pan, like if you wanna make a French omelet and using a metal fork to constantly keep it going or using a metal turner to turn your food over. These pans are built to last. They will last your generation, your kids' generations. You could pass them down to your great-grandchildren and they'll still be around and still working great, as long as you take care of them. These things are meant to take a beating. From my years of cooking, we use cast iron pans and carbon steel pans all the time and they got they weren't treated very nicely they were tossed all over the place slammed down smacked down we use metal tongs in them forks everything anyone grab our hands on that was metal because there's no real plastic in the kitchen for utensils it's all metal now if you do for some reason scratch the coating off your pan and leave a big gouge in it don't worry it's not the end of the world all you need to do a little secret here all you need to do is cook with it that's it as you cook with it, the oils are gonna polymerize back to the pan and rebuild up that uh, scratch piece and get, make it all non-stick again. So don't worry about it, just use your pan. Whew, we are going through a lot of stuff today. This is my real, guys, this is my first time doing a, like a real one-on-one, -on -one, talking to you to the camera directly and not doing a voiceover. If you like this kind of video, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know if you want more content like this or my voiceover work. I do the voiceover work because it makes life a little bit easier when you got a dog barking, music playing. But if you guys like this content more and this kind of style, let me know and I'll try to work it in for you guys. Now, here is what you should never, ever, and I mean never do with your carbon steel pan. You might be able to get away with this with cast iron, but you can, will not, I guarantee you, it's happened to me, don't do this. If you have an induction unit, like an induction stove like this guy here, do not put your pan on high the very first day you get it, you know, because you need the seasoning, you need that pan nice and hot, or boost power boost mode to get it super hot. 
it will warp your pan almost instantly. I did this myself, took it out of the box, threw it on the stove, getting all ready to season it up, cranked it up to power boost mode, amateur, right? Didn't know how to use induction correctly with carbon steel. Cranked it up, put my oil on, and probably within five seconds, the pan bent and warped. There's $100 out the window. Fortunately, I got lucky that day, and when it cooled, it almost went back to perfect uh, flat bottom shape on it. Not perfect, I had to do a bit of work in banging it out with a rubber mallet. Do not do it, Don't learn from my mistakes. It even says in like the Dubai booklet, do not cook on high or power boost mode, keep it at a medium, medium high heat, um, and especially do not do it with an empty pan. When you're cooking with the pan, you can go up to a little bit more of a high temperature because there's stuff in there and it's not just warping the pan, but you gotta be careful. If you have induction, do not crank it up to high or power boost. Just don't. You know, we've gone through pretty much the beginning to the end of how to do this. You know, start with seasoning your pan, how to use your pan, cooking with your pan, oiling your pan. Now, cleaning our pan. It is very important you don't soak your carbon steel pans to remove stuck on food. They may be well coated, but water will get to the metal and rush your pans if you leave it there. So don't do that. What you can do is use a little soap. Yes, I said soap. Soap will not ruin your pans. It will not damage them. It will not take off the coating. Back in grandma's day, or before grandma's day, they used lye as a base ingredient, which then that would take off the coating. But today, soaps are so mild, they don't use lye in them. It's fine. And no, your food will not taste like soap if you use a little bit of soap. So using a little bit of soap, hot water, give your pan a you know, good rub down cleaning, dry it off, place it on the stove, bring it up to a nice hot temperature, and then add a little bit of oil before you put it away. Little bit of maintenance to it, but definitely worth it. Now, say you throw your pan in the sink, you're gonna go get to it, and life stops you, and you have to go do something, run out the door, and you're gone for a couple hours. You come back, and your pan is rusted. That's it, it's over, pan's ruined, throw it out, get a new one. No, all you need to do is give it a good cleaning, scrub all that rust off, heat it up, re-season your pan, and continue cooking with it. And that's it, pan recovered. Now, if you leave it there for a long time and the whole thing turns rust, it might require a little bit more work to get that rust off, but once it's removed, you're down to the bare metal, re-season, and keep cooking. Another thing, don't use a scouring pad when cleaning your carbon steel. It will take off the seasoning if you scrub too hard, so be careful of that. If you need to get some real stuck on stuff, a bit of salt and a little bit of water should take that right off, and it's not abrasive enough to take off your coating. I am not sponsored by Dubaye. It is one of my favorite pans. I use them all the time. They did generously offer my followers or my YouTube subscribers a 10% off. I do make a small commission from the sales of these pans. It does help the channel out and I really appreciate it. I also have a monthly channel membership if you want to help support the channel. It's greatly appreciated and I could, wouldn't be here without you guys. So I highly appreciate it. And if you don't want to join it, just watching, liking and sharing help me too as well. And I truly appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you so much, and until next time, foodie out.